one of the joys I have is seeing others achieve their goals and to pursue excellence, to watch the students develop their surgical skills, their anesthetic skills, and for them to really appreciate their role as a veterinarian. Yes. So how do you feel like your skill level is developing as you've been? Oh, I definitely yeah. feel more confident with like the anatomy. Dr. Pasco has had huge impact and through his leadership, through the years that he's been doing this and the level of excellence that he provides. And I cannot think of an individual who has had a greater impact uh, on veterinary medicine, certainly in today's age. What John has always done is to keep education as part of his role. And so that has provided him with opportunities to enhance programs and to provide state-of-the-art teaching facilities and also to contribute to a curriculum that we now have here, which was one of the first outcome-based student-driven curriculums in the veterinary world. To achieve lifelong learning, you really want inquiry-based student-centered learning. And so we embarked on a journey to move away from the traditional approach. And one of the things that we're especially proud of that we developed in partnership with regional shelters was a community surgery program where animals could be transported to the university and had surgery performed by students under supervision and then returned to the shelters for adoption. This was one of the first schools to do away with terminal exercises in core surgery programs. It wasn't that long before many other schools adopted that. It really turned out to be a good thing in terms of trying to marry the educational objectives, the learning objectives we had with helping the shelters out and providing some societal good. Here at the University of California at Davis, he has been able to help design over $400 million worth of new veterinary facilities that really help move the profession forward and now are being used all over the world. Veterinarians are professionals and I felt like they needed to be in an environment that reflected that professionalism. I sought to be on the Council on Education so I could be a participant in ensuring that the quality of education stayed really high for the profession. Literally four to 5,000 students have benefited that are practicing across the world that he helped, whether that be teaching them directly, teaching them through residencies. And by realizing their full potential, they contribute to the evolution of the profession and also to the excellence of the profession.